We are back with more World Cup action. We got Alcons versus Cicada. And yeah, he brought Venus Zilla. <laughs> he switches out the mute turn one as he brought some Mega Pinsir Buki ovens and we see Ash Gringer with spikes, so it's gonna be specs. <coughs> Really nice double into Heatran. Gets up the rocks. I assume this is gonna be <coughs> a Z move guard trump. I've also seen Citrus Berry guard jump on these type of builds. But he also has a lot to check that by because if it's the only that white switch in I've or that white check I've seen a Citrus Berry guard jump. I'm breathing a bit heavy if you guys are wondering. I might sound a bit weird because I just ran up the stairs <coughs> and this game start. <coughs> Cicada is playing for Team France. And Alcans is playing for... I, I don't remember if it's Latin America or Spain. I think it's for Latin America. He goes for the fire thing. I don't think that Cicada did see the FD coming. I think he thought this was Scarf Trump or something. I'm not really sure, but he his Mew was in it and he got, tried to pivot it on top of Bull in the Earthquake. And that Fire Fang play was fire. <laughs> he does show probably in U-turn, which um, probably confirms that it's Choice Garf Gren from Cicada's side. Tapu Bulu was dead already, like pretty early. <laughs> I mean, Tapu Bulu got walled pretty much by Venusaur. But he could have doubled in, in the Pinsir on the Venusaur, and then... Maybe if he had, like, knockoff, he could have weakened the Celesteela, but most Pinsir don't run that. It's, like, it's, not like, it's not like he has a Magnezone to support that, but yeah, that's Choice Bandit. Thousand Arrows, and that's a Bolt Clefable. And he's just gonna go for Soft Bolt here. A cicada is gonna be forced out unless he f unless he's trying to fish for a crit. I can see him going to pincer. I can see him going to heatran. Alcant doesn't have. Actually, he has a Ladi, but yeah, he doesn't have hazard control besides Ladi. And I assume the Ladi is gonna be choice scarf, so that's not the most reliable hazard control. So this is going to be Stealth Rocks Clefable, he did stay in. This doesn't really help Cicada unless he's really fishing for the crit. Yeah, he's just going to softball spam, like that's his best play. <laughs> this guy asked how did Budo die, I missed some turns. You can just click here first turn, but I mean, like no offense, he probably knows it. I mean, he has to softball again, just in case Cicada stays in. I mean, I, I get Cicada's play, but he was kind of in the back and he could fish for the crit, like, at least two times. Makes some sense. But it is gonna force in the Celesteela. So Cicada kind of has to double in the heat train here, right? I don't know if these double switches get him anywhere. Like, if he would, if the, if double into Heatran doesn't, does it even help him that much? Alcans would probably go in the um, in a guard jump or Ninja if Heatran comes out on the double switch here on the Celesteela. But I'm pretty sure that he's gonna go Celesteela here, unless he's next level and predicts the sword stance from the Pinsir and he goes hard into. Good ninja or Latios, which is that's not a play. Like you're never gonna make that play. Yeah, this is really tough for Cicada. SD got from putting the pressure on on him early on.
Yeah, he does. Go, he did go for sword stance. But what is this gonna do? Like frustration doesn't do that much. It doesn't. It does like thirty maybe thirty five. It's just a head calc. And like even if he has close combat, it's not gonna do too much, and it would lower his defenses. So you're probably dead of flamethrower if you had close combat. Like I can show you guys the f first uh, the frustration calc. Like it's it doesn't do much. Like Cell Steel is just fat. Even if it's Spadev. Yeah, see it does okay at plus two it does more. It actually does 55. Wait, what the fuck? It does so much. Okay, fin Pinsir is a savage beast. I did not mean to underestimate you, Pinsir. Holy fuck. Okay, th that head calc was completely off. Like, I thought it would do like 20%. I think the reason that I thought that is because I thought ABR used Fist of Celesteela. And uh, like, that was like the last scenario that I remember where it was Pinsir versus Celesteela. And ABR Celesteela was f so, was like max defense or like near max defense. And it bounced completely off. I think that's why I thought it would do nothing. Yeah, that would be crazy if Megas could hold Z crystals. That with the priority, it's crazy too. That would be a bit too wild for me. Sun and Moon is already wild enough. But yeah, I did not think that Prince would, would be able to just get rid of Celestealer like that. I thought that Celestealer would at least beat this one on one and come out with like 10% health or something like that. Yeah, I assume Alcance is just gonna click that Draco Meteor button here. Cause oh he did click Psyshock. I thought you wouldn't click Psyshock because it doesn't hit the Mew very hard and also in case the Kera goes hard Greninja. I mean you would never go hard Greninja there, but just saying. It hits Mew harder, it hits Gren harder. Like it hits Gren, Psyche Shock doesn't hit it. And I think it also hits the Tren a bit harder, but if he has if he has some tech for the Tren, nah, I think he's I'm pretty sure he's choice scarfed. I'm surprised that he went for regular fire him with the guard shroom. What did I was an item from the guard shroom revealed? I'm not sure about that. I think he can, he can just go for soft bolt here. Cause even if this goes for gunk shot, like soft bolt is a fine play, because gunk shot doesn't do much. It does like 70 maybe. Like I'm just gonna back it up with a cult this time because I don't want to say something wrong. It depends on a Greninja, obviously. See, this it's life of Greninja, which is like no attack investment. It does 71 to 85. But this is just choice, Garth. But yeah, if it has max attack, that might even out the fact that, this, that it doesn't have life orb. Like, it's lacking the power of life orb. Yeah, it will do 70 to 83 if it's max attack. So I'm pretty sure Alkans just didn't lose anything from clicking softball. Because if the Greninja went for a gunk shot, it would always play mind games. Because Alkans could afterwards go in a guard shot if he locks in the gunk shot potentially. I mean, what does Mew even do to kill Fable? That's my question here. Will always doesn't do anything to kill Fable. They usually carry Psychic Ice Beam Volt Switch. If he has knockoff, that would be cool for Cicada. He just has Ice Beam, so is he really is he going for the freeze? Maybe he doesn't have another way of like dealing with this? I don't know. I thought he would have gone out to Heatran. He obviously wants the defog. But Clefable does show knockoff. Yeah, the last slot on Clefable. It was either between knockoff or flamethrower. 
but he has a Stellar Stealer and a potential HP Fire Venusaur. He also shot Fire Fang on Guard Shroom, so his Scissor matchup is not that bad, so he doesn't need Flamethrower on Clefable. He does get his rocks up, and this is gonna go for Iron Tail. Obviously, he can go for Softball to scout, or he can just go for Moonblast and get damage. And if he's like max defense, he can go hard Venusaur here. He can also go hard Greninja if he has Ice Beam. Yeah, hard Greninja is, a, is an option, depending on his last move slot. Doubled into his Gren, but this is not gonna do. This is not gonna be able to do anything. Like Scarf Greninja doesn't carry extra sensory. Like that's not a set. But he does get momentum again with U-turn. But what does it help you? Like you can't really go Pinsir because you would die to rocks. Mew doesn't do anything to this. Like if you default the rocks, just go back up. Rocks has more BP anyway. Um, I guess you can go Zygarde and threaten it with the um, Bandit Iron Tail. Or you can go Heatran, but he didn't go Heatran last time. He might be Scarf Trend, we don't have any information. Ab no, he, he just showed that he's Scarf Ninja, he's not gonna be Scarf Trend then. Um, I mean, I was thinking, like, like I say most of the times, I just go off Tabu of Bulu being Z move most of the time. I think that's like the best set for Bulu. Like, if if people have, like, no Megina and they have a Bulu, like, Megina and Bulu are like two of the ones that are like. I'm a big fan of Z move on those. I'm a big fan of Z, -move, Z moves on those two Pokemon. He does just go for Styles and Arrows. I think he had to go for Iron Tail. Um, he pro nah, he, he probably banked on Alcan switching out into Venusaur and he wanted to hit it harder. Or into Greninja. I don't know. And Iron Tail obviously wouldn't hit that as hard as T Arrows. But the yeah, Alcans can just recover. I mean, softball again here. Like this doesn't do anything for Cicada, he's slowly healing up. But yeah, I don't... If the Heatron doesn't have anything to like scare the, To like threaten Alkan's team, I guess Heatron would just give the Chomper or the Greninja a switch in. Yeah, I don't really see how Cicada could like make progress in this matchup. So I understand that he's like trying to crit fish or something. Like I don't really see what else would his play be. Uh, losing type of Biluello was obviously huge. He gets a crit moonblast, it shouldn't matter too too much. He's gonna softball up here. Um Greninja going for spikes or dark pulse here. How else is the grin? Yeah, I think I would just click dark pulse at this point because he doesn't have good switch ins. Like his resist is his own Greninja basically. He trying will probably get two it KO'd. And Zygarde will also get to it killed, I'm pretty sure. And Pinsir and Mew obviously both die to Dark Pulse if this is Specs, which most Ash Grants are. So this is gonna do like, oh he went for Hydro Pump. That was a potential roll. I don't know if that was even necessary, but he, may, he like potentially he wanted to get the roll on this. And Hydro Pump is obviously stronger than Dark Pulse versus Greninja. Like, I didn't think he lost anything from clicking um, Dark Pulse there, but he hit, so it's fine. Uh, Cicada is gonna is gonna be scared to go for u here because the Garchomp could come out and kill him with Rough Skin. So he can either go for Ice Beam predicting the Garchomp to come out. If he breaks this to stay in, he's gonna U-turn, obviously. Or he can, he can also make a double switch, maybe. The thing is, if he makes a double switch and this stays in, he's like, this gets Ash. Like, the Garchomp makes a lot of sense there, and he just u turn wow. I thought he would predict that, that was kind of obvious. This is just a free switch into Clefable, like, I don't see Cicada winning this at all. I'm still a bit surprised that Pinsir was able to beat Celesteela 101. Like, Mew can't touch Clefable, other than getting an Ice Beam Freeze, it can't do anything to Clefable. 
Its last move is obviously gonna be will o -Wiz. And losing leftovers is also pretty annoying. Clefable having knockoff is really annoying for Cicada because it has a lot of PP, so like if the Mew like tries to PP stall the Clef, that also doesn't work. Because knockoff is like 32 PP, Moonblast has 24, so even if you already use some PP, the Clef is still more PP. What can Cicada do to pressure the Clefable? Like Pinsa still loses one we want to it, Pinsa could weaken it. But I don't think this gets Cicada anywhere if you like sexist pins it just to weaken the clef. Because Elkans has like other healthy mons in the back. And like fast mons even, like Garchomp and Ladi and Gren. Like he just lost the Scarf Greninja, so like yeah, he just I guess Cicada had to bank on a choke there. Like if anything you ice beam then try to freeze the clef, I don't think Willow was supposed to ever to play. But, no offense, just saying. Yeah, he's just gonna get the Star Fox back up here. Hard pincer, so... Moonblast kills this pincer. Frustration just does a little bit over half with leftovers. Like leftovers healing 6% back. And Desire is gonna get a kill now with 1000 arrows. Unless absolute min damage and this lifts somehow, but I don't think. I think this always kills, right? Maybe not always, but like most of the time. Venusaur is gonna be able to mega evolve and eat that up. Like it did 50, yeah, I assume it's gonna do like. It might be a roll actually. That did a little bit more than I thought it would do. I mean, at this point, what usage does your Venusaur have? Like, you can try to lift this and synthesis up. But if you die, it's fine, because... You can just go Ladi or Greninja after. You can even go Garchomp, it doesn't really matter, right? Like, you have a lot of options if you are Alcons here, basically. Even if you lose your Venusaur. Yeah, it, it dies. I assume it might have been a roll, but probably was likely to kill. Because from 58 to like. Like, Venusaur gets some extra defense, but. It <laughs> Maybe the Venusaur was more spadef orientated or offensive. Because Max Defense Venusaur, I'm pretty sure, would have been able to take that better. He did show SD5 thing, that's all we saw so far. So maybe he's um SD5 thing, Z Outrage. What would be the last move? Oh Earthquake, obviously, obviously Earthquake, hello. What am I smoking? So I think it just clicks the Z move here, right? Because you he doesn't wanna if it, if it's Z Outrage that is. Because he doesn't want to lock himself into Outrage. I don't think it matters, but Z, like if you have the Z move, you just click it here. Like that's the safest play. I don't think he has used the Z move so far. Yeah. I mean, this kind of gets a kill here, right? Even if he goes in the heat turn on a Z move, that's gonna do so much if it's like a Z outrage. And everything else is gonna get cooked. Like Mew might live it barely, but like it's gonna get to it KO is what I'm trying to say here. He did break the outrage, I assume. He just went for SD Savage. I mean it makes sense because he probably I think T arrows does like 70 or 65 or so to this. So he earthquakes this and this game is basically over. Alcans just wins. And there is the Z move, and yeah, it is probably Z Outrage. I don't think it's a Z Dragon Claw. 
The other is just super powerful. I think it kills uh, Landris T at plus one. Like if you SD up and you get intimidated, I think it Oko's at plus one. That's just one example. And he's just gonna click Outrage to blow this out the window. And end it in style. E speed does a good chunk, but obviously not enough. And there's the Outrage and Bop. I'm just gonna make sure which team is Alcon and Alcons is on really quick. Yeah, you guys can see here, Alcans is on Latin America. I wasn't 100% sure. Because I know earlier in the game I gave like wrong information. I think it was in the Femen game where I said Femen was on Spain. Did I say he was on Spain? No, it wasn't Femen. I forgot. I think it was the Latin game where I thought he was on Latin America but he was on Spain. But I think you guys were watching. Alcan picks up the win. Pretty much was in control. And yeah, I'll see you with more World Cup coverage. Stay tuned for that. Dokuch signing out. Peace.